one and two and three and four and C. you guys do with that song this week i think i told you i was going to put up the video and then i think i did not right so i'm sorry about that um if you need the video of this what i'm going to do is i'm going to make a video of only this song and then i'll put that up so you won't have to watch a whole video but uh anybody want to play it for me i definitely thought it was a faster tempo it is. I think like because I was like when I, I I was home this weekend with my like mom and my niece and I was like practicing and I was like, oh yeah, like, and they, like we were all singing and it was much faster. So I think just now I was like, I don't know if I'm doing the right, like looking at the down, down, like I was like struggling just now. So I was like, mm. yeah, and it does, it goes way faster than that. Um, so let's, uh, let's do it. We'll do it. You can go totally faster. Okay. Okay, we can try it a little, like, or try a little bit. And I'm like, was I doing the wrong up or down before? I don't know. Okay, so like, do you want to do it together faster? Yeah. Sorry, I keep talking when you're talking. Say it again. It's okay. I, I have an intern that started today, and I feel like I'm just talking and, like, not knowing when to stop because that's that has been the pace of the day. So, yeah, if we could do it as a group a little yeah. bit faster, that Make me feel right. a little bit better. And I work with refugees, and so I say the same thing over and over and over again. And I always say, "Do you understand? Do you understand?" And that's like the first thing I learn in another language. So I have to not do that as much. So I get it. Here we go. Do you understand? Got it. All right. A little faster. One and two and three and four and C.
Okay, so you want to play that, Aaron? Sure, I can try. I was like, that felt a little bit, but like more like what I was practicing. So I'm like, okay, maybe. I'm and if anybody wants another week to practice it, don't worry about that. Okay. All right, go for it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. And if you have it, if you have it printed out, you might want to write that in your music. Okay. Yesenia. I me. just highlighted. It. Just oh, very good. Yeah. I, That's another really good thing to do in your music. That's okay. You're doing really good. So, but yeah, that, that sounded fantastic. Yeah. You just go right into the shoe fly after that. Very nice. Okay. Erica, no pressure, but they just did really good. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. down ups <laughs> <laughs> it's just, easy to have, like, yeah just pretend it's still going i know it just keeps on going right past you and down up that's a strum pattern down down up we're going to play that in a lot of songs a super common ukulele strum so i'm glad we're yeah. getting that now okay Carla. yeah when i was practicing i i um i could not remember what the i feel i feel part the second part Okay, that was, that was for me. <laughs> if you want, you can just play the first part and then just don't sing the second part, but just play the second part. Okay, but uh, when I, when, once I start hearing you guys sing it, I'm like, oh, okay, that's how it went. <laughs> okay, good. there 
You're, you changed your strum there. You started going up, down, up. You want to make sure it's down, up, down. Okay. Start. Start on I belong to somebody. Oh, wait. when they get like confused yeah no and it's it. okay because if you listen to other recordings everybody kind of sings this differently and there are groups that go i feel i feel i feel i feel like that so it's a little bit confusing because we just go i feel i feel i feel okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna post just a video of just this song because every class needs that okay so so i'll post that and then that way you can just play along with that it'll help you a little bit with the melody um so we're going to keep these songs. Next week, we'll get a new song. Um, if you guys can play these songs really well, and I have no doubt that you will be able to. So remember, the goal is to be able to play with no pauses when you change chords. So always be aware, aware that the chord change is happening. Erin, show us your music again. See how I love how Erin did that. So you could do that or circle it where the chord changes, because you want to always be noticing when that chord change is going to happen and associate it with those words, right? So, you, so you're so you ready, ready to do those chord changes. Because if you wait until it's time to be on the new chord, then you're going to be late, right? Got to know it ahead of time. And you do it on that up strum. Okay, guys, you did fantastic today. I will see you all next week. And uh, take care. You're a great class. It's really fun. Bye. Thank you. Bye -bye. And Nurses Appreciation Week, everybody. It is this week? It is. Happy Teacher Appreciation happy Day. Teacher for appreciation week. Week. Oh, happy Appreciation Day. I appreciate you guys very much. I really, really do. Awesome. Right. Thank, you. Thank you for everything that you guys do. Take care. Bye.